yo what's good with y'all in today's video i'm about to show you guys how to make a main menu i made a video like this i think like how long has it been maybe almost two years i think but i just know i made it over a year ago and stuff this is an updated version i'm sure you guys had to make a basic main menu and stuff we're gonna have some animated ui you click play the look the backdrop disappears and everything is gonna look real nice and yeah let's go ahead and get straight into it okay so first things first of course we're going to need to make you know a ui so let's head on over to start a GUI and insert a screen GUI. You guys can go ahead and name this main menu G GUI. So main menu GUI. Then we're going to change a few properties. We're going to put, we're going to check ignore GUI no set. This pretty much makes it so that the UI can cover this top, this top part of the screen. Cause the whole point is we want the, um, the frame to cover the entire screen. So the player can't see anything right we also want to disable reset on spawn because this would mean the ui would reset and then the and then the uh main menu would reappear upon the player dying which obviously you wouldn't want a main menu to reappear if the player you know died unless that's what you're going for if that's what you're going for then then you could leave this checked but anyway of course we're going to need to insert a local script we can go ahead and name this script main menu script so main menu script delete print hello world right we're going to come back to this we're just going to leave this right here for now we are then going to create a frame let's go ahead and insert a frame into the main menu gui you guys can of course name this main menu frame all right let's do some customization you guys can make the ui whatever color whatever font like the text whatever font whatever you guys can decide that all on your own it's completely up to y'all i'm just showing you guys for the video so you can either follow along or or make it with your own colors okay so first for the sizing we want the sizing to be two, mm, let me just do it like this i'm going to set this to two zero set x and y to both two zero right because it easily just covers the entire screen right so that's how we get the frame to cover the entire screen then of course we're going to need a color i'm going to make mine red i'm gonna just make my backdrop just a nice yeah, you know, like a nice all red right then inside the frame i'm going to insert a play button or a, i'm sorry i'm going to insert a text button and then i'm going to name the text button play button right so let's name it play button then i'm going to insert a text label into the frame so let's insert text label and then we're going to name this title text label right so title text label text label is going to be the name of the game you know like the welcome to insert game name right and then the play button is you know you press you press play and then the, the main menu screen disappears so let's go ahead and position these so first this is the title text label so we're going to put this at the top then this is our play button so we're going to put this kind of like at like kind of the bottom middle so we want this to be like at the top middle then we're going to change sizing since this is the title we want it to be you know pretty big pause but let's go ahead and yeah let's make it like about you know 400 that looks good and then maybe like 70 yeah like 70 and then to make it look even better i'm going to insert a ui corner you know just cut the corners off make that 25 right i'm gonna duplicate this by selecting it and pressing ctrl d or you could just click duplicate at the top while it's selected then i'm gonna also put this inside of the button so it cuts both corners off then i'm gonna go back to the title text label and then i'm gonna continue customizing this i'm gonna make the background color like a nice dark red so like a contrast to the light red and of course i'm going to make the text bold scale the text and also i'm going to change the text to say welcome to no cap studio you guys can change the text to whatever you want i'm going to set text text stroke transparency to zero and then i'm gonna make my text stroke i'm gonna make uh, my text stroke like mm, like a nice yeah like a light yeah like a light red the whole theme is pretty much just red right so i'm gonna make that red and then i'm gonna do the same thing for the play button bold scale text also rich text and then name this i mean set the text to play then i'm gonna set the background color to you know the dark red right or maybe make it a little bit darker you know just just to you know so we can see the difference then i'm going to text structure transparency set to zero then i'm going to set this to light red so we can you know see the text there we go we can see the text better and of course i'm going to change the sizing because the play button is a little too small so let's make this like 
300 you guys can really play around with it and see what you know what you like mm, no nah, i mean like 70 yeah yeah i like that yeah like 70 so, and then leave that right there maybe make it like mm, like 250 mm, nah maybe like 65 yeah i'm gonna go with 65 I'm go with 65 put it right there right yeah like right there there we go you guys can place it wherever you want just play around with the positioning the sizing and see you know just see what you like right whole point is to get your desired result and then yeah and then i think we're good we set the background color we set the text stroke yeah we should be good so now from here i'm going to i'm going to set both of them to not visible where is it oh it's up here right here so you want to by default make them not visible because we're going to tween it so that it like it's animated it appears upon the player joining and then it disappears upon them clicking the play button so by default we're going to set these to not visible we'll make sure the frame is visible only the play button and title text label should be not visible so i'm going to head back over to the script right and then I'm going to make two variables. First, the UI. So local GUI is equal to script.parent. Then I'm going to get the tween service. So local TS is equal to game get oh, game get service tween service, right? Then I'm going to use a 4 IV and pairs loop. This is the loop that's going to pretty much make it so that the UI appears upon the player joining. Or like it kind of the, I should say the text because the background will already be there. Just the text. It'll make more sense when you guys actually see it happen. But yeah. So for i comma v in pairs, gy dot main menu frame get children enter right. Then we're gonna set up the tween. So local tween is equal to ts create and put v for the instance. Then I'm going to create a new tween info. So tween info dot new. We're gonna set the time to two seconds because we want to account for like you know the player loading into the game and, and we wanted to like you know kind of give it an extra second so to make sure that like the player sees it, you know, kind of loading in, like see the effects happening as it as it, like you know they join. So I'm gonna put a comma, set the easing style, so enum dot easing style. I'm gonna go with cool, I'm gonna quad it. I found that it looks nice. You guys can choose whatever style you want. Then, of course, for the easing direction, I'm going to go with in, right? Because we want because we want it to kind of appear. Then we're done with the tween info. Put a comma here. Now for the property table. So put special brackets. And now we're going to modify the properties. So first, we're going to set the background transparency. So I just want to go ahead and let y'all know, please make sure you're typing this correctly because one, it does not autofill and it is case sensitive. You have to make sure you're typing it exactly as the properties have it listed. So background, oh, sorry, I did not mean capital G. Background transparency is set to zero, comma, text transparency is set to zero then we're going to set the text stroke transparency as well text stroke transparency is equal to zero and my fault guys I actually told you guys the wrong thing okay so go to the play button the title text label you want to make sure these are visible sorry so instead you want to set the transparency to one right so first the text stroke transparency right you want to set all these by default to one and stuff so it makes it look like it's not visible but instead you're just making it everything transparent then you want to go up and find background transparency and boom there you go so it's not visible right and then this will pretty much undo everything we just did so if i go right here press enter tab then tween dot play and we're gonna play the tween that's the intro tween right now for the i guess we could say the outro tween right we're gonna use another 4iv in pairs loop so we're gonna say gui dot main menu frame dot play button dot mouse button one click connect function close parentheses enter then we're gonna use the 4iv in pairs loop so 4i comma v or actually to really save time we could honestly just copy me yeah, let's honestly just copy and paste this so control c control v it just it really just saves a lot of time right so you're going to copy and paste this and then of course we're going to change it though right 
so we can set this to out because this is the outro and then of course we're, we're changing the zeros to ones let's change at least one and then we're going to need to make a second tween because remember this is only changing the play button and title text label we also need to make the main menu frame disappear so we can so select all this Control c enter paste this again and then we're going to change it so tween two this is going to be our second tween and instead of v for the instance we are going to set the main menu frame so gy dot main menu frame right and then yeah and then all we need to do is change the background transparency because obviously there's no text or text stroke transparency for a frame it's just background transparency so boom that's all that's the only property we need to edit and then and then we can go ahead and set tween two to play after tween one starts playing but they'll pretty much kind of be at the same time and boom just like that guys we have done it we have created a main menu we can go ahead and now test it to see so if i go ahead and click play i would honestly recommend you guys testing an actual server so you know you can see how it actually looks but just for the sake of the video i'm just testing studio so click play you guys will see welcome to no cap studio right yo you guys see how it just kind of you know loaded in there stuff real nice and if i click play it fades out yeah that's nice that's nice now see if you wanted like the you wanted the text labels like you wanted the text to be gone before the the like the background like before the frame disappears then you can set this to you can set this to like 1.5 or 1 so that the text label and text button would disappear before the frame actually disappears but yeah hope the video was helpful if it was leave a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed um if you guys want access to this model or script or any of my other models or scripts you guys can become a channel member by pressing the join button next to the subscribe button stuff so you get you can get access to all my models and scripts you guys can view more about that in the description thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next video